James Middleton is back on social media, and he's brought along a few furry friends. Kate Middleton's younger brother returned to Instagram on Tuesday after a two-month detox, sharing an adorable photo of himself pedaling a bike with all five of his dogs hitching a ride. James noted in his caption that it's been more than a year since he first went public with his clinical depression and how his beloved pups have played a vital role in his recovery, and it's inspired him to be an even bigger animal advocate in the year ahead. The 32-year-old shared that he wants to, quote, focus on highlighting how amazing dogs really are, not just from a pet perspective, but how your physical and mental health can benefit too, and much more. Back in November, James thanked fans for their incredible support throughout his mental health journey, expressing gratitude for the moving words of encouragement he's gotten since going public with his illness, writing at the time, quote, Not that long ago, I had forgotten what it was like to laugh with genuine happiness. Today, I don't have to pretend to smile. James explained that he's truly touched to have received messages of solidarity from others facing similar challenges and pledged to continue taking his mental health as seriously as he does his physical well-being, clarifying that he's not cured from depression. Instead, he's developed tools to keep in control and self-aware every day. James previously opened up about his experience in a candid op-ed for the Daily Mail, revealing that he had considered suicide at his darkest moments and ultimately decided to seek treatment, calling the opportunity a tiny spark of light in the darkness. His family has also been longtime supporters of access to mental health care. Kate, Prince William, and Prince Harry launched their Heads Together campaign in 2016, and just last week, William spoke out on behalf of the organization at a soccer event in London, where he explained the importance of drawing a connection between sports and such a personal topic. I think the fact that you're all here today, and many of you will resonate and understand and have more connections with mental health and, and charities and personal moments in your lives than I have. But the fact that we're all here today having a laugh, talking about mental health, you know, raising the profile of mental health through football is a real achievement. And I can't thank you enough for being part of that. As many of you have alluded to me already today, the fact that we're raising this profile is so important. Football is followed by roughly 16 million people in this country. And if we can use the power of uh, sports, use the power of football, bringing people together to have a, a really big conversation on mental health, then that can only help people who are still struggling, people who are still suffering, people who still feel they can't talk about their mental health as well as they can. You know, mental health is a positive subject. It is something we can all talk about. It is something we can get on board. And personally for me, seeing and hearing some of you talk about your stories, your struggles, whether you're a professional footballer, whether you're a fan, whether you're somebody who doesn't necessarily like football that much but knows their team they support and one player in it, you know, whoever and whatever background you come from, uh, thank you for being a part of this and, and for for wanting to make mental health a more open subject. Um, I really appreciate that.